Hi everyone, Chastity here. Welcome back to my channel. So I am here with a, another video um, since I was going to change this girl anyways, I figured I would do a video, um, you know, just putting her in a basic outfit. I showed this in my haul video. Um, some cute stuff that I picked up from Walmart and show that too that you can piece some cute stuff together um, you know for even from Walmart uh, so this is um, my Laura uh, by Bonnie Brown and um, she was painted by Andrea Lee Munn uh, who is now doing prototype she just did a prototype um the sculpt is teddy by irena i can't think i can't pronounce the last name um but she she's done a silicone prototype or two but she just did her first vinyl prototype which i knew that was gonna happen she's just absolutely amazing artist um she has only been painting like two years. Um, so <clears throat> I got Laura. She wasn't even painting a year. And look at how amazing this doll is. She's one of the most realistic um, dolls I've seen. Um, and, uh, you know, she wasn't, only, wasn't even painting a year. I've had Laura now over a year. Um, she's been a favorite of mine since I've got her. So I am going to actually put her in. So I bought this three pack of onesies and I bought the match and head bows. You can see, I hope I have everything in camera and then the mitts. So that's what I'm going to put her in. I want to put her in the actual, the blue hedgehogs is the one I want to put her in. Um, the flower, the floral one's really cute too, but I've dressed her in a lot of florals, um, before, so I thought I wanted something a little different. I thought the blue would look nice on her. Um, she's still in this, um, carrot, uh, gown from Kate Quinn for, for Easter, because I had put everybody in something, you know, holiday for me, these guys are kind of like, they're holdable works of art, but at the same time, they're also displays works of art. So you kind of want to, you know, if you have a holiday coming up, you can dress them. They can kind of be a decorative piece for that holiday. So I did um, put her in a little carrot gown for Easter. I, I dressed everybody that I had, which was only three at the time dolls to dress for Easter. Um, and uh, there's still one in, in an Easter outfit and that's Max. I still gotta get him out of the Easter outfit. Um, Tate, uh, my chases. Um, I did that. Uh, Put an outfit on him but he's been in it a couple weeks <laughs> like i said i don't dress them too too often so but i figured i was gonna dress her and i might as well just do a video that will kind of be my um second video i did probably upload today if not i might wait till tomorrow to upload it um Hope she's in the camera. I got her in this like it's like um it's a snuggle me kinda. It is from Timu though. Temu. I mean the pillow is like twenty dollars. The real snuggle me is um almost a hundred dollars. So Unless you catch it on sale and then you can get the sales for like $79. So $20 sounded pretty good to me. 
I mean, I don't think it's as high as the regular Snuggle Me. I don't know. I I, know, I haven't had a, a Snuggle Me. I, I keep this in the bassinet usually. Um, but I had the other, the nursing boppy, and I don't like the way they sit on that. And the other, the infant lounger boppy is, um, Tate is laying in that. So I just didn't pull that one out. This girl, she's just so little magical little little doll. Um, she the the size I'm putting on her right now is a zero to three month. She is a larger newborn size doll, so she's um, fits. I would say. Zero to three is a little bigger on her, on her, but she can fit a zero to three without a problem. I'll get her hand in there. Try not to stretch the neck out. I, nothing drives me more crazy than seeing a stretched neck on a onesie. I mean, you can wash them and they'll look, go back, but... I don't wash my reborn's clothes because they don't do anything, you know. They don't pee on them. They don't poop on them. I got the zero. I could have got the newborn ones to fit her better, but I wanted these to go between her and Nora, my Huxley, which will fit them too. So they'll be a little big on her, and they'll probably fit Nora just right. mitts to go over her hands. I think this kit looks so cute in mitts because she has those open hands. And sometimes like this one's got a tag in it. I am gonna take the tag out because it has black ink print on there and I do not want that sitting on her vinyl. So anybody ever you know you don't want ink or um dark sitting on top of the vinyl this has like the little print but it's on the outside not on the inside um except a little bit right here um which isn't touching her so you just pull them up a little bit and it's not even touching so <clears throat> Hopefully the headband fits because um, it looks a little big. That's what drives... It says it fits newborn to six month. Twelve month. No wonder. Let me get um, one second. I'm getting a brush here. So I don't know if anybody else notices like in American sizes is horrid to find things to fit like skinnier or smaller like like the sizing is just weird to me I, I was just complaining this morning about like because I had bought shorts for the boys my real kids and they their elastic band and <laughs> my kids have all been always skinny kids they never make anything elastic band for that fit like skinny. Okay, this is going to look really big on her. Um, so I might have to find a pin and pin it to make it work. If I can do that, then it will look good on her. Um, so I'll have to hunt one down once I get off here, but I'll just have it. For now, I'll just show, show it off and then I'll look for a pin so that we can, so I can pin it and make it work for her. But that's what I'm saying. It's newborn to 12 months, but, you know, it don't fit no newborn, you know. Sometimes 
Like I have tied them in the past, but then if you tie them, it stretches out the um, elastic in it and then it never goes back the same. It's really huge. Uh, they should fit my Huxley though. So anyways, but what I was complaining about is the elastic band um, pants and shorts ever, you know, that's what a lot of kids wear nowadays is stuff with elastic bands and act active wear and stuff like that. So I bought a bunch of shorts with the elastic band and the ties work on them. But like, they're still like can't tie to where they can do it themselves and, um... My one has like fine motor, a little bit of fine motor issues. So like tying is still something he's still working on. <clears throat> and I was just complaining like, why are the, these are athletic, athletic shorts and like, they're just not even geared towards like skinny kids, you know? I, I, I don't know. doesn't make sense to me anyways, but. Here is my girl, my Laura. I'm going to show her all. As you can see, here's my little plastic. I had pulled her out with the... I just picked her up out of the thing with the plastic because I lay them all on the plastic so it doesn't mess up their hair. And she's been covered for some time. I had her in the bassinet, actually in the snuggle me laying, but I cover them because I don't want them to get dusty, so... I just drape a cover over it and she's kind of been there for a bit so I just wanted to get her out and change her and enjoy her for a little bit before I probably put her back away. So I hope you guys enjoyed seeing her too. Um, and I'm going to get off here. You guys have a good day. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.